All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful with the first kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, it's over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. So, three years the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 172 pounds. Fighting out of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is going to be Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Just unable to quite find that range. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. 
Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Hands high, hands high. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Uh, look at the turn in that kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Kind of doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Under three minutes to go in round one. Still nice body to play. This big liver kick lands under the elbow. The big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? with that straight left hand. <laughs> Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Landing on both sides here. Look for his chance. Wow, what a head kick! Uh, right single collar tie now. Oh, straight right. Nice punch, Lynn. in a single collar tie. Just missed with that right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Finally. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. So he mixed it up. He went high low. Uh, uh, low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Next there. 
well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Oh, huge head kick. Nice loop of punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big leg kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed with the left there. Straight punch lands. Just over three minutes to go. Big kick land. You don't know when that leg kicks coming. Is blocked. All right, let your hands go. Let your hands go. Let's run run. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Great punch landing with so much power. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Take that take down. Take him down. Take him. Take him down. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. He can't take any of those kicks. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Just a slip there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Glance, uh, glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. I love the jab. I know you love the jab. And what a round! Stop, stop, All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making.
All right, next round is underway. He did a great job Good in fight. the previous round, largely right. untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands through the middle. lands for him. Nice leg kick. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Getting it to land exactly where you want it. He loaded up on that right hand too. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And there comes the separation now. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Switching stances here. Three minutes to go in round three. Exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, high amplitude head kick. He'll change his stance. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Flush right hand is true. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Real sneaky body kick. Nice strike. Some nice back and forth action here. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Lands the right hand. and it shows. Keep your hands up. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Ooh, what a punch. Final seconds of round three.
That's three oh, rounds God. in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. That's a big strike right there. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counter as we go forward. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. That he heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Good stick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Look at the whip ball. lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big punch land. Ooh. And he comes through with a big knee. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Under two minutes to go. Nice kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. In the night. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Big kick land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punch to the Back and forth we go here. Wow. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big kick. Oh, 
30 seconds now to go in the round. Seconds. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, deep. How about those five minutes? All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, that's a good right hand. Nice straight punch. Just out of range with that strike. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, big kick. knee! Back to the feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Pretty good right hand. A bunch over the top. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. Can't take many of those, you better check. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising and it's only getting worse. Right hand on point. Leg kick. A good punch land. A liver kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose. Oh, he's out! Wow! <laughs> Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 5. Going the winner by knockout, Watch, right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Because I'm on top of the ball. I'm on top of the ball.